Mingala Barkamya, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. Student negotiators say they are willing to meet ministers in Naypyidaw be briefed on amendments to the national education law. The same group walked out of a meeting in Naypyidaw last week, angered by the government's ill treatment of student protesters in Leopardan. The new commitment from the students comes after a brutal crackdown on Leopardan protesters by police on Tuesday. 127 demonstrators were arrested at the scene as police resorted to heavy force to break up the encampment. The Burmese government has been widely condemned for the incident, which left some protesters and activists seriously injured. Government Minister Tay U said the cause of the violence needs to be more thoroughly investigated. <laughs> Chinese soldiers are on high alert on the Sino-Burmese border as clashes between Burmese soldiers and rebels continue in Kokang. Chinese Army Infantry and the Air Force have increased their presence and upped their patrols along the border. That's after four errant bombs dropped by Burmese planes exploded in Chinese villages in Yunnan province. Burma has previously accused Chinese mercenaries of fighting with the Kokang rebels. Naypyidaw has sought China's cooperation to prevent terrorist attacks launched from its territory. On Tuesday, Beijing demanded that Burma investigates the March 8 incident. Zhongfang已经向缅甸方面表达了严重关切，要求缅方查明事实真相，并采取有效的措施杜绝类似事件再次发生。Fire trucks were called to downtown Rangoon on Wednesday. At least one person was injured as a blaze on busy Pansadan Street destroyed an electronic shop. Crowds gathered to watch smoke billowing from the windows as flames licked the building. The injured person is a Red Cross emergency worker. The volunteer was taken from the scene in an ambulance. You can find more on all of today's stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.